and yeah we are keep working on it come on it's lagging it's loading what's wrong with it okay guys now we're gonna make some roof here it's gonna be triangle and simple just rotate it like this this one will be smaller duplicate it meter x global all right Another cube. Rotate it and make it a little bit out. That's how we, what is this? That's how we make a roof here. Duplicate, mirror, X global. I want to have this end points a little bit out because, you know, the village house are looking like this. That's what I know. Okay, now we need some pay texture. Is it something like that here? Let's check it out for pay or straw. Ah, oh, yeah, these are the best. Absolutely what we need here. It's a little bit weird because there is so much powerful wind in the ocean. <laughs> I'm using this kind of reed and uh, is it looking like wood? What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, please. Reed roof. Come here. Okay. Oh, it's the, it, this is the place here. Okay. Okay. Control A, scale, cube projection, and I don't know which episode or tutorial I explained this, but wait a minute, let's like this. It's not logical, yeah? <laughs> Having this kind of roof in the middle of the ocean. Anyway, okay. Uh, I don't know. As I said, but there's an add-on here, it, which is UV squares. You can find it freely because, as far as I know, it's uh, free. And by the way, don't forget to like. <laughs> That's the new way of asking for a like. And look at my hairs. Yeah, what did I do? Um, this UV squares is working like this. It's so obvious that it's making it squares or geometrical, you know, uh, rectangle. I'm, I'm using this. What it's for? Um, first of all, I gotta find which one is this. Let me select that. Yeah, here. Now I'm gonna show it to you how it's working. Yeah, it's looking like, you know, uh, diagonal or, you know, it's like cross 
you got that and when you press that it's not working because it's not working here just turn off sync and grip by shape now it's square just like this and that's so useful because if you don't use this kind of add-ons or you know help uh, you need to make it manually which is a painful activity for a blender user so i always recommend this uv squares you can just google it and to grip by shape and that's the correct way to fix your uh this kind of uv maps and that's it okay that's huge helpful add-on now let's keep working on it yeah uh in this situation you know i can press shift this is the first one select second one and link materials or link object data uh oh object data it's not working because i applied scale that's so annoying but also uh, essential uh, thing to do so what can we do there's a couple of ways you can just link materials and work from the beginning make everything from the beginning or you can just duplicate it and select this one Control c copy location and copy rotation look at this now it's overlapped okay now it's not quite overlapped yeah anyway it's better than nothing and i can align it here yeah we fixed it or you can just uh, make this material this object with materials and you can copy after that okay so as you can see we have a little bit problem here which i can squeeze it but i don't recommend you squeezing your objects because why this is the reason it's gonna look stretched and it's not correct way to do it okay it's looking it's not looking so you know so stretched but you know you can always fix it if you don't like it maybe it's something like this i don't know yeah that looks fine and i'm just checking it by my eyes and i can stop whenever it's looking fine all right now we need um some couple of woods here to close this place do you remember what we were making press tab slide it here and you can just make it like this if you want maybe you can have with one piece that's your choice and duplicate it we already gonna cut all of these outside boots here so i don't care yep now i can join this now we need cube here rotate it i'm just trying to make it like roof and yeah multi res it's not necessary right now and add modifier go to boolean select cutter and you can oh what happened here you can always understand what's wrong with this yeah it's working like this and go here we pour and wire now we can see how it's cutting it which is so perfect duplicate it mirror x global and just place it in a, in a correct way you can duplicate your uh, modifiers um i think there's no need to do that but yeah it's gonna work just select this one and yeah we cut it and you can apply this and it's time to say goodbye to cutters and yeah we made it so what's next let's work faster okay no one likes slow workers right okay 
just place it here that's it now everything looks fine okay i'm gonna make some maybe lantern lantern always so cool we're gonna have something like this here but this time it's gonna be a little bit different link materials apply scale and cube projection uh which one wood surface base color yeah in this direction is better yeah that's it now we're gonna make a little bit modifying here like this because i want to distort it like this by the way the proportional editing is activated that's why it's working a little bit smoother and if i decrease or increase with scroll mouse you can increase the range of affection uh, yeah and duplicate one more rotate that here go here you can just make it like a little bit interesting maybe it's looking like this which is so natural there are similar landon uh like this you know i know a little bit woodwork by the way i i can i can feel which one is the correct way and let's cut it here now select edge alt shift left mouse and you selected the loop in this case we're gonna use f2 add-on go here to add-ons and write f2 this is building add-on in blender so it's so useful it's bridging and filling uh this kind of stuff here so and you know by the way don't forget to like it please thank you okay it's gonna be like this i'm just pressing f or you can just select two edges press f it's gonna make bridge edge loops and now i'm gonna fill cube projection make a little bit bigger and be sure it's on the right direction or in the right density that's looking fine we are checking everything is okay and now little bit smaller little bit smaller little bit like this i don't want to affect it that big what's wrong with you okay now that's fine we can make chains let's make chains it's gonna be so simple i'm gonna use a plane I'm not that kind of person which is using some fancy techniques. I'm a little bit, you know, old school and making everything myself. So in this case, I want to convert it to uh, to curve here. Now we have this rectangle. Go here. And, oh, by the way, I just forgot something. Just we have selected all. Just bevel vertices okay yeah that's the shape of the uh chain but another thing is control a apply scale don't forget to do that now you're gonna see the difference look at this it's now more more even okay so that's enough shape for me and maybe a little bit like this now i can turn it to curve and go here find geometry maybe you know yeah it's maybe this kind of thing just increase one more shade auto smooth here that's completely fine and enough go here convert to mesh and we have this here if you want to make it high poly this one too you can just subdivision surface you can also if you if you don't like the thickness of this chain piece uh don't worry go here solidify 
and you can just make it a little bit thicker just like this that's all okay do i want to have you know high poly for this kind of small piece here no and yeah we can we can connect them just like this or this i think this kind of um this kind of touching is a little bit uh, realistic because it can't look like this i don't know but i don't i don't think so okay now as you can see there is no problem and we can have it like this of course you can do better than me I, i'm just making it a fast way if you don't like it you can do better you can make it with circle by the way it's up to you Oop. so if you add curve or circle like this you can you can have any kind of chains okay just place it here we need some lantern right that's so obvious and make it smaller so how can we do it let me find some uh, reference okay i generated this and it's looking so enough so let's start with here it looks like we need some edge loop no inset face here i uh, like so oh here just turn off this one make it a little bit smaller and you can just pull it out pull it out like this yeah we need a circle to connect that <laughs> come on so i can use torus and just turn it like this align it in the center yeah something like this by the way uh, i can work here just everything is already set make a little bit distinctive and yeah we got this now is it a little bit interesting yeah i like the shape uh the size so i need to get rid of this couple of chains let's make them bigger of course and uh, yeah that's now a little bit more natural uh mm -hmm. okay now uh we're gonna get rid of this and this piece here now it's hanging here that's nice it's a little bit small and short <laughs> chain but i don't care now we have this if you want to give details add inset no it's edge loop i'm always saying it wrong go here extrude face along normals little bit inside and here's the detail you need and let's find some different place okay it's getting a little bit outside you already saw that so we can make it manually just have this kind of cube here and a little bit loop and you can make it manually of course there are lots of different and clean way to do it but you know i'm a little bit lazy and i'm patient you know me so that's gonna be enough of course it's gonna be like this not straight yeah maybe a little bit a little bit longer okay now it's time to just hide it hide it time to duplicate it mirror in x global do you want do you want to uh, learn a trick about this mirroring uh i remember that 
I was making mistakes with mirror, you know, I always making it in the wrong directions and here's small but useful trick. Do you see that here? Let me check. Yeah, you see that. You see that here. So let's say I duplicated it and I want to rotate it like this, right? It's is it looking like this here? Yeah, it's the same. You want to mirror it like this, right? like this so it means that you can check it here it, it's in the that direction okay so if you want to make it like x-axis like this rotation just check it out here okay just check which one is it's x or y so go here x global is the correct one and let's say you duplicated it okay you already saw that with the color of the axis it's green which is y and red is red uh, x is red sorry so just go here and y global that's so simple but i was making the mistake so much and i just realized that why am i doing this stupid wrong here <laughs> is it it's so obvious and now i can make better mirror <laughs> mirrors <laughs> what kind of cheap and useless um advice right maybe you already know that yeah we have this here now i need the middle part here let's have one small wood plank always try to look from perfect side views or top views because it's a little bit faster to work without any problem for placing your stuff a little bit like this and a little bit like this x-ray vision and you need to hide it here you know yeah we're gonna need that and a little bit looking like this i can hide for now because i'm just placing it in the correct way you can just just merge that connection points where is the object alt h <coughs> to bring everything back go away <laughs> go away ocean yeah it's looking fine actually and it's ready to go duplicate rotate it i'm holding control for five degree snapping okay i'm not making it like this holding control and look at this 45 50 55 60 yeah always rotate it like this just place that duplicate it 180 just place it i saw some little bit problem here yeah you can just hide it and it's gonna be the last one why am i working here i don't know duplicate it rotate that Place it. Okay. Perfect. Shift H for isolate this object because I'm tired of trying to model it with all of these objects here. Okay, we got this. I can look here. Just place one here and this time I'm going to select the face here. There's a little bit angle like this. What? 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 Okay. It's something like that and that's enough for me. You don't need to spend your times. Okay. Just hide it here. 
it's the same process again. You can just duplicate, rotate, or mirror X global place merge align. It says this, but no, it's not that. Okay. We're going to have another one. It's for the it's for the pool of candle. Mm. Yeah, I want to align it like this. You know. It looks better for me. And oh, ew, ew, ew. extrude it. Oh, extrude it. Select the loop here. Extrude phase along normals, just like that. Extrude it here again. And inset phase here. Something like this, okay? Now we can have a candle here. Candle. Hey, candle. Add modifier, subdivision surface. Now we're gonna make it a little bit, you know, melting. That's why I'm gonna make it like this, but also we need some inset phase to get rid of that worse uh, shadows shadows like this check it out I don't like that so you need to add one inset here it's gonna look clear and place it here now we can just make it a little bit like this and that's gonna be enough Shade auto smooth again, and you can change the degree. It's a little bit better. Also, make it like this. Okay, that's fine. Align it in the middle. And yeah, we have fire, but you know, I don't like to work with that kind of stuff. So let's make it in a simple way. Align it and subdivision surface. That's it. <laughs> yeah, you were not expecting this, right? But that's me. Okay, <laughs> it's looking so <laughs> so interesting. Yeah, but it's gonna be transparent and emission. You know, don't bother. And yeah, I'm checking everything it's, if it's okay. It looks fine for me. Come on. I don't want you here right now. Okay, now uh, we can group this as Lantern. Okay. Yeah. Move to collection, new collection, and Lantern. Okay. It's not quite right wait a minute yeah and yeah we can add textures i want to use the same texture you know or i don't know let's add another one i'm not sure if it's gonna look fine let's change it give me the result these are not wood, man. Come on. Yeah. Now we're going to have some rough and cheap wood because, you know, that's a lantern. Let's have it. Okay. Yeah, why not? Or not. No way. One more time. Give me one more chance. I want to have a little bit, you know, brown. Yeah, maybe this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Because, you know, it's handmade object. And you want to have a little bit fine 
pine wood. I'm just selecting link materials, link materials, link materials. <laughs> yeah, that's so fine. That's why I just wanted to introduce you with Blender Kit. All of these materials are um, free, but you know, there's paid, uh, paid scenes here. Do you see that luck here? Yeah, but that's so cool that if you can reach the PayPal, uh, you can you can model and you can share it with all Blender users. Now we need metal and you're gonna see that you can reach them for free that's enough you can <clears throat> play with it of course uh, you can make this kind of materials and objects you can upload it and maybe you can earn money but <clears throat> you know paypal is not active in my country so I'm not available to do that, but I'm also sharing my stuff, my scenes on my Patreon. Just check it out. And if you want to support me, you can download whole my 3D library and project files. Okay, just keep that in your mind. <clears throat> I think that's cool. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's it's so enough to use it as metal. But of course, I also used before uh, Substance Painter and we made some UV mapping, exporting, baking and other stuff. Yeah, that's so enough. You can also, you know, may, uh, modify, modify it a little bit um, here. Yeah, that's, you know, more than enough, actually. If you are a beginner and you don't have any custom plan, yeah, you can just use it like this. It's so high quality. Look at this. Okay. And yeah, by the way, I said it's high quality. Yeah, don't forget to you uh cube projection, UV mapping. Okay. You can go away. Maybe we can find fire. I don't know if there's fire. Yeah, look at this. Which it is what 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 kind of <laughs> what kind of candle light is? Let's try it here. Is it possible? <laughs> no, no way. Yeah, it didn't work. Interesting. Go back. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. I didn't give up. Come on fire generator oh that's cool look at this it's completely well well prepared yeah strength please more strength <laughs> yeah you know that's so enough look at this I like it. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's different kind of candle here. <laughs> yeah, is it enough light for you here? <laughs> okay, anyway. Let's make a little bit smaller, but I I wanna have more light and that's not that's not the best lighting here anyway oh that's even better oh he <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have it that big i can't resist it so let's make it creamy in candle color make it reflective a little bit metallic ior maybe yeah yeah that's it we made it look at this and uh i can move it to my landon collection that's fine and now we can you know we can duplicate it or you can just duplicate your collection by here just let me move away 
it's lantern here you can just duplicate collection okay now it has same one if you select objects here you can just move it like this or i have another and a little bit faster way just select that let me come back am i looking pink by the way i'm looking like pink oh look at this it's changing oh dude i'm is it is it because of this ca microphone yeah it's because of the microphone Shit. so change the light anyway you don't need to watch me by the way <laughs> just don't look another place okay now light is moving itself okay uh select the collection duplicate it and move the collection lantern too i don't know you but it's a little bit faster for me and i just prefer this and yeah you can have these kind um fast lanterns everywhere of course i'm gonna use it that way because i'm a little bit lazy just a little bit yeah we have this duplicate it and l2 <laughs> i'm that much lazy did you see that l2 so let's let's think about little bit logical and human being style and like if i'm not a human and i think you don't want to have so you know regular or clean looking a uh, placement for this kind of lanterns right it's handmade and it's probably a serial killer so i don't think that what what is this light here actually you can you can use it in your advantage okay so i mean that you can make a little like this of course we need a ocean that's for sure so you can just use it like this little bit you know maybe fog fog kind of thing i don't know you okay so is it enough for me as i said before it's not enough for me so you can just make a little bit fake lighting here because it's gonna be so cool go here make it red and decrease the power just a little bit here look at this i think that's looking a little bit better okay you can increase the radius here maybe something like this and decrease the power i don't know you you know i i just like it uh wait wait a minute please so in this case i want to light the area a little bit more something like this okay and you can increase the power just a little bit okay i want to see this detail a little bit more that's that's all i need just a little bit and duplicate it here and it's also like a bloom effect here you know that's better did you see now we can see the details here and where is the light yeah without it hey come on come on okay it's without it and with it without it with it that's what i'm talking about okay uh place it here too It's looking a little bit more dramatic and you know in a cool way yeah i like that kind of shadows from the uh, light sources yeah i think it's a little bit more red than we want here 
it's gonna be a little bit diff difficult to reach it <laughs> because we have this ocean here so let's find the light here where is this oh it's inside clever just make a little bit orange we can check it yeah that's a little bit more natural we can go away or you can work in ev yeah that's another way to work you know just an idea and let's go and find the other light we're gonna replace the hex code where is the light here do you see that where is my light it's not even in the inside are you kidding so immature yeah you just you just stay like this for now i don't want to mess with you okay by the way you can activate ambient uh occlusion you can activate bloom here something like this I all I always like this bloom effect in the EV. I wish we can make it in cycles, but if you are working with cycles, you need to use compositing section to make it bloomy. Maybe we can increase the shadow here. Yeah, that's enough to preview. Okay. What's next? Okay, now if you ask me it's looking so clean you know what i mean maybe we can have it a little bit damaged okay let's make a little bit more dangerous that's what i mean so how can you do it do you remember the stuff proportional editing increase the radius no, that's looking so, so bad. So, mm, okay, I'm just gonna use it like this. There are a couple of ways, like uh, lattice, actually, but that's not the case right now. I just don't want to disrupt myself. Okay. I want to have some, you know, broken, broken woods here. Little bit like this. Come on. I'm doing this because, you know, it's so dangerous place. You can't expect a cool looking and clean woods. No way. It's not that realistic. And oh, look at this. It's already looking better. I'm going to have. Uh, I forgot that metal door here with fences maybe and uh, that's gonna be more dangerous okay yeah that's fine now we made this and what else we can do I think we can have another platform here and for the boat and the entrance. Let me check. Is there any fish net here? Yeah. 
Look at this. <laughs> ah, you are getting my interest, man. Yeah, look at this. I strongly recommend you to use this blender kit. I wish I I will take money from this, but I'm just making it for myself. So sad. I I think I'm I'm a fan of this add-ons and I'm gonna support them with this. Yeah, now what we're gonna do, uh, you know, that's that's not the correct way to use it. And I'm just gonna need a little bit here. And this time I'm gonna turn off this because I wanna distort it, okay? Maybe some stretching like this here. It's a little bit illusion of the fishnets. Okay. Um, maybe a little bit bigger. Let's check it out. That's it. I like it. You know, you, you, you can have some kind of things here. And also let's try it on the surface here just like this i'm not sure if it's gonna work but i want to try so maybe we have a pile of fishnets just right here okay link material no i don't want to have it exactly like this it's so clean so i'm gonna use sculpt tool Oh, object mode, go back. Uh, I need to activate multi rise, subdivide, subdivide, and that's fine. Come on, it's not working at all. What's your problem? That's fine. Yeah, go that way. Okay, we're just gonna distort it. I can use Dynatopo, by the way. Just turn off like this. Yeah, it's it's gonna break. Uh, it's gonna break the surface. Just work like this. The reason is, you know, we we are breaking. We are breaking the surface. Hey, that's not the correct brush. Shit. Sorry, that's my fault. I didn't realize that. Now it's adding new polygons here that's the correct way i'm just making it like exact uh you know it's kind of ropes here they shouldn't be look so clean okay i don't know it's the first time I tried this kind of technique here and I wonder if it's gonna work. Let's go back, link materials again and look at the polygons we have. You know, it's not low poly project so I can do it. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. Maybe a little bit squeezed here like this and we're gonna have a little bit different pieces yeah also uh wait also look what i'm gonna do if i can select the objects yeah Join this and let's go to decimate because I don't want that much uh, polygon here. So let's decrease it. I'm already happy with the distortion. 
So let's go back more. And apply. Now we have less polygon and it's still looking bad. That's what we want here. So mass here. Okay. Yeah, we can use it like this. Maybe a little bit pile. And what else we can do? Let's make a barrel. Barrel is so easy, actually. Uh, do, 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 do. How we can do it? Yeah, I'm going to use lattice here. Okay. I'm going to try that. So there are lots of ways to make barrel. But let's, let's try a different way. Okay, now we have this wood plank here. Okay, it's exactly like this. And now we're going to make it like this. Or you can just make it with circle. You're going to see what I'm going to talking about. And yeah, that's the piece. Uh, I think I can use this material for now. We can change it later. That's it. Now we're going to use array. And if you do that, it's going to be a little bit faster. And we need circle. No, curve. Sorry. And select this curve. Which one is this? It's circled, yeah. Curve object. Come on, man. Can't you see that? Am I doing something? Hey. Yeah, let, let me think about it. What's wrong with this? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's not see that because it's mesh. I didn't select this circle. So, so stupid mistake here. So, okay, now it's going to see that. Yeah, uh, that's the first step. Let's align this. Uh, like this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where is my object? Align this in the middle here. And now it's going to work. Now you can increase this, but. Come on. Yeah, it's curved. It's in the correct direction. We're going to play with this just like that. Also, we need to rotate it like this, but in the edit mode here, 90 degree. Now it's going to work better. Now we're going to play with it. Just touch it and you can increase it with this and play with this. Just connect them or you can just like this. Yeah, we have barrel right now and we can apply this actually, or you can just, yeah, yeah, just apply this it's gonna be a problem for for us later uh i think you can try lattice here so how it's gonna work align this here it's like you know uh the former or something like that so what we're gonna do is here just increase the segments here because these are playing points here you know, it's the uh, play, playing objects here. So we're going to make lattice here for this one. Go to generate, no, the form lattice and select this lattice here. Now it's going to affect with your playings here. Did you see that? It's so, so useless. Why is that? I need to check it, everything here. Yeah. Maybe we need to apply scale. No. Let's think about it. So, 
Mm. Yeah. It's happening because of this much control points, you know, so we're going to make it in a plant way. Let's select, select all. Yeah, it's not working. One more or two more. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have any, any horizontal uh, loops here. So what can we do? I just want to try it. Okay. Just wait a minute, please. Is it because that? Yeah. I'm going to add edge loops here myself because, you know, I don't want to have this torture here. <laughs> How did I forget that? I'm going to fix it in a, in a fast way. Okay. I have an idea. Just take back this. Okay. Now we're going to make it health and that will be enough. Wait a minute, please hide it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How, how did I made this mistake here? That's so interesting. Hide it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm a human like you and I can also make mistakes. I'm not cutting this kind of, uh, problems because, you know, I don't want to make myself as, you know, I'm perfect. No, I'm just, I'm just like you and I can make mistakes. Uh, that's one and four. Okay, Alt H and hide it, Alt H, it's five, yeah, and yeah, I don't care that, I'm just gonna slide it here, yeah, four, 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 just get rid of this, I can't even count it, <laughs> But it doesn't matter. You can't stop me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to have it like this before because it's going to be better. Okay, everything is fine. The health. Yeah, it's the health actually. And we don't need to waste time. Just hide it. Uh, the activate the lattice here, mirror here, and is it X axis? Yeah. Activate this and we can activate clipping. Now let's try it out. No, it didn't work exactly like we need. Okay. We're going to make, um, barrel, but not right now. Okay, we have this, it's looking so cool. And that's it for today. We made lots of things here and we're gonna make barrel and lots of small objects and that's gonna be so cool. Let's check it out in the render view. Look at this, it's so creepy and dangerous place already. We're going to make metal door here and it's going to look a little bit more dangerous. And we have lights. We have fishing nets here. That's fine. That's fine. Perfect. Okay. See you on the next episode, guys. And thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Please don't forget to like. Thank you. And yeah, that's it. See you on the next one. Bye bye.